Secretary Benhur Abalos of the Department of Interior and Local Government. Thank you, Mr. President. May we request our witnesses to return to their respective seats. I'm very pleased to stand before you today at this ceremonial signing of the Trabajo para Sabayan Act, a significant milestone towards the sustainable and inclusive development of our country. I thank both the Senate and the House of Representatives, led by Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri and Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, for the timely passage of this bill. Which is, the prior, which is amongst the priority legislative measures of this administration. The law will help us solve the various challenges plaguing our labor sector, such as low quality jobs, skills mismatch, and underemployment, among others. It likewise addresses the need to update the skills of our workers and promote the use of digital technologies particularly for our micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises or MSMEs. Crucially, this act will lay the foundation for the Trabajo para Sabayan Interagency Council, which will craft a master plan for employment generation and recovery. It will be chaired by the Director General of the NEDA and co-chaired by the Secretaries of the DTI and of the DOLE with representatives from other agencies and from various sectors. All government agencies, including LGUs, are enjoined to cooperate and coordinate with the Council to ensure the effective integration of the plan into their policies and programs. I therefore direct the Council and all concerned government agencies to fast-track the issuance of the implementing rules and regulations of the law so that our workers and stakeholders can immediately benefit from it. I likewise enjoin the DOLE and the NEDA to harmonize the Labor and Employment Plan 2023 to 2028 and the Trabajo para Sabayan Plan to ensure that all government efforts and resources will be effectively and efficiently managed. To our businesses, especially our MSMEs, we will continue to provide support and other incentives such as increased access to financing and capital to promote self-reliance and spur employment generation. Under this law, we will also incentivize employers, industry stakeholders, and private partners who will facilitate skills development, technology transfer, and knowledge sharing amongst our businesses and our workers. With this concerted effort, I am confident that we will not only achieve the goals of this law, but we will also realize our vision of Bagong Pilipinas. Sa ating mga mamamayang Pilipino, alam po namin na hangad ninyo na magkaroon ng maayos, matatag at marangal na trabaho. Sa pagpasa ng batas na ito, binubuksan natin ang isang bagong yugto sa ating bansa kung saan mayroong sapat at di kalidad na trabaho para sa lahat. Kaya samahan po ninyo kami sa pagsisiguro sa tagumpay ng batas na ito at sa pagpanday ng isang maunlad at bagong Pilipinas. Salamat sa inyo lahat. Mabuhay po kayo. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat.